Now let's start off by saying a real man does apologize when appropriate. He takes accountability. When he's wrong, he has no problem saying, my bad. But I want to make sure you're paying attention to that important word, when appropriate. There are many times where we feel compelled to apologize when I believe you actually shouldn't. It's actually detrimental to you and those around you. And that's what I want to discuss with you on today's video. On today's video, I'm going to go into detail about 13 things I believe men should never apologize for. Now, if you're new here, welcome Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. If any or all those topics interest you, I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Berwick Moore, salute. First up on the list is one of the things I believe is most important to never apologize for as a man. That's prioritizing your purpose and yourself. Now don't get me wrong, it's all well and good to be a kind and generous guy, but up to a point. That should be secondary to your path to greatness, to what you need to achieve first. Prioritize your purpose and everything else will fall in line afterward. Here's the thing, the more successful and fulfilled you are, the more you can help other people. Like the old cliche goes, when you go on the airplane, when the oxygen mask drops, you put it on yourself first. As a man, you should be a leader. A leader leads the way along his chosen path. I believe you should always put your purpose first and never apologize for it. And that falls in line perfectly with the next scenario I believe you should never apologize for. Setting boundaries, AKA saying no. I love the beauty of that powerful word, that short word, and oh, as a man, you have to be able to set boundaries and make other people respect those boundaries. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. And if you want to be kind and generous, do it up to a point, to the point where you feel comfortable. After that, cut it off. It's a great quality to have to be a kind and generous man, but up to the points where you're comfortable with. Nothing more, nothing less. You should always make sure you're setting boundaries, enforcing them, and making other people respect them. It's also a sign of self-respect. And another thing you should never apologize for, taking risks. Here's the thing, you're gonna have big dreams, passions, things you wanna pursue, and a lot of times other people won't understand or encourage them. That's their problem. The thing is, for you to get better, you have to get out of your comfort zone. Most growth comes when you're being uncomfortable. Like the saying goes, high risk, high reward. Now, of course, I'm talking about calculated risk high reward. Don't apologize for chasing your crazy dreams. A lot of times other people are going to think they're just that crazy. Let them laugh. Let them doubt you. You'll be smiling on the other end of your dream. To get where you need to go in life, a lot of times other people won't understand. You'll have to take calculated risks. Don't apologize for that. And sometimes chasing your dreams and taking risks involves the next thing you should never apologize for. Sometimes you have to leave other people behind. I'm here to let you know, to get to where you need to go in life and to keep evolving and growing, everybody can't go. Some people can be with you for your entire life's journey, but most people won't. The thing is to achieve your dreams and to fly higher, sometimes you gotta get rid of dead weight. And sometimes that dead weight comes in the form of friends and family. But if the people in your circle aren't a positive impact on you pursuing your purpose, you gotta let them go. And there's no need to apologize for leaving them behind. Now next up we have an area you don't need to apologize for that the internet will make you feel guilty about. A man doesn't apologize for pursuing women. Now here's the thing, for some reason on the internet, especially in these YouTube streets, pursuing women makes you a simp. But here's the key thing. I said pursue, not chase. A real man is interested and wants to learn about women. He wants to be knowledgeable. As a man who's pursuing, of course you need to know everything you can about capturing your prey. It's never feminine or simpish to have as much information as possible about an important topic. And I don't care what anybody says out there. To me, and most men, women are an important topic. And pursuing and having that great woman in your life can impact it in so many positive ways no matter what YouTube tells you. Wanting to know more and being curious about women doesn't make you a simp. It makes you more knowledgeable and better equipped. Speaking of which, here's another topic some guys on the internet will make you think is feminine. I think you should never apologize for caring about your appearance. You'll never hear a person calling himself the style OG apologize for looking good. Yes, I wanna be flyer than you. You should wanna be flyer than me. It's competition. We're men, we compete. And dressing well is just a sign of respect. 
not only for others, but it's also a sign of self-respect. There is nothing feminine about caring about the image you present to the outside world. It's a way of controlling your narrative. And one of the great things I love about personal style and grooming, it makes you feel more confident. It's a great way for you to communicate to the outside world how you want to be seen without saying a word. Take it from me, you should never apologize for being fly. I also want to make sure you never apologize for taking time for yourself. I agree that life is about people. Life is about interacting with other people. But sometimes you need to spend time by yourself. Taking some alone time, it's not selfish. It's actually self-care. Sometimes you just need to be alone. I believe the more you learn to enjoy your own company, the more you can enjoy other people's company. I believe spending time with yourself, getting to know yourself better, makes you happier. And it allows you to share that happiness with other people. Sometimes it's just good to be alone with your own thoughts and your feelings. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want you to take it to the extreme and become a recluse. I don't want you to be a loner. I want you to spend more time alone. And one of the beautiful things about spending more time by yourself it allows you to get in touch with the next thing you should never apologize for, having the full range of human emotion. Here's the thing, especially people my generation, we were taught the only appropriate emotion a man should experience is anger. That's completely wrong and unhealthy. Just like women, us guys experience the full range of human emotion, fear, happiness, joy, disappointment, and yes, even anger. Don't apologize for being secure enough with yourself to process and express all ranges of human emotion. Here's the thing, you're a human being. You're gonna experience every feeling possible. No one should hold you responsible for how you feel, but I will hold you responsible to how you act in response to your emotion. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you should fall apart as a result of your emotion, but you should be able to process and express them in healthy ways. Now here's something I never apologize for. Maybe sometimes to a fault. I believe you should never apologize for having your own opinion. One of the things that often happens, especially with guys that are a little softer, a little weaker, they won't express themselves. They won't stand up for themselves. They find it much easier to go along to get along. Bad move. It doesn't help you or your circle for you not to express your perspective. When you do so, it enriches the dialogue. It improves communication. Not expressing your opinion leads to too much conformity and it stifles intellectual curiosity. Here's the thing, I want you to listen more as well taking other people's perspective, but don't apologize for having your own perspectives as well. Which piggybacks nicely to my next point. I believe you should never apologize for telling the truth. Not telling the truth compromises integrity and it diminishes authenticity. Honest communication is the foundation of trust and builds great connections. Now I know it may not always be easy to tell the truth, to stand up for what's right. It takes courage, but being courageous in telling the truth is part of being a man, in my humble opinion. Embracing the truth, even when uncomfortable, leads to more personal growth. By standing firm in your truth, you're upholding your principles and your values. And it's an act of accountability, both for you and those around you. Now, expressing your opinion and telling the truth are great, but you also should never apologize for not having all the answers. You should never be sorry for not knowing everything. It's a reflection of your humility and your ability to accept your limitations. The cliche is true. A wise man knows his limitations, shows a willingness to learn and grow, and it encourages dialogue. None of us know everything. It's okay to let your guard down and say, I don't know. Vulnerability is a sign of strength, not of weakness. Saying you don't have the answer and seeking it from other people allows for collective problem solving and collaboration. It promotes an environment of continuous learning and shared knowledge. And feeling like you need to apologize for not always having the answer implies an unrealistic expectation of perfection. Now my next tip circles back to an earlier point that you should never apologize for knowing about and pursuing women. You should also never apologize for being a gentleman. You see, because being a gentleman exhibits virtues such as kindness, respect, and consideration. Politeness and chivalry are timeless virtues that show you can have empathy, understanding, and courtesy. No matter what anybody tells you, being kind is a sign of strength not a flaw. It serves as a shining example of character and integrity, and it leads to a more civil society, something all of us could use much more of. And one of the key reasons being a gentleman will always work with the woman who's interested in you. When you open that door or pull out a chair, it makes her feel valued and protected. So continue and never apologize for being a gentleman. It's a sign of mutual respect, understanding, and cooperation. 
Now, next up is perhaps one of the most important things you should never apologize for, being your authentic self. Now, there are many common characteristics all of us men have in common, but we are not carbon copies. You're you, I'm me. You always wanna prioritize being genuinely who you are, not who you think people want you to be. Now, it's a great thing to take constructive criticism and continue to evolve, but never change the core of who you are. You wanna become a better man, not a different man. Here's the thing, there are some truisms when it comes to masculinity, but you define what being a man means to you. Don't let anyone try to convince you that what you are isn't a man. I don't care who it is, even me. If my opinions don't make sense and they aren't your definition of a man, take in the meat, spit out the bones. Be genuinely who you are. As we get older, most of us become more comfortable about who we are authentically. And you should never apologize with sharing your true self with others. So there you have it, 13 things I believe men should never apologize for. Let me know in the comment section if you believe I left anything out. And if you wanna learn more about becoming a well-rounded man, I recommend you check out this recent video I did about 14 things every man should own by age 40.